What's up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Ethereal Gates. Last episode we made it to this new town here. I'm not actually sure of the name but you can see it's got a very dense fog clouding it and apparently a little girl has gone missing so I think we might just be in Silent Hill. So today we're going to be exploring Silent Hill and hopefully heading on on the way to the next gym or at least be pointed in the right direction because I believe this town is actually a, get a dead end. It's the ghost that did it, the ghost that haunts the library. So guess we're going to be exploring a library today. Thanks grandma for the heads up. If you guys are excited for another episode, make sure to leave a like. If you're excited for some awesome thick fog and lighthouses that apparently crash your game, uh, because I read the comments in the last episode and apparently there's an item in the lighthouse that crashes your game. So I looked into it a little bit and yeah, we'll make sure to avoid that item. Before we get started though, I finally want to address what a couple of people have been telling me about. The music in the city is awesome by the way, but we're going to go ahead and take a break from it for a second because a lot of people have been telling me about other passwords that you can give to password Phil here. And he has a ton of gifts, but only with secret passwords. Now, there are a bunch of passwords which people have figured out and have been telling me in the comments to put in to get shiny starter Pokemon. I'm not going to do that though because the creators of the game have actually asked me not to in the first place, but I didn't really want to show them off, I mean, in the first place because they were passwords that were actually created specifically for some people and the fact that they've been spread around to other people is lucky enough already, so I'm not going to show them off and I'm also not going to be using them myself because they're not actually supposed to be in the game. The only one that is actually intended to be shared is the hay bill one or barrel bill whatever the sheep pokemon is i know that that's his name but i don't know if that's the evolution or the pre-evolution i think it is barrel bill though but apparently this dad gives his kids tons of coffee i don't know if you're supposed to do that yeah daddy says i'm too young for caffeine so i drink decaf what about you man i like coffee but i'm a fan of cotton candy oh his sister likes coffee does this dude he doesn't even talk about coffee apparently his kids are all about coffee but the dad doesn't even seem to know what is going on Wait, it's terribly tragic what happened to that little girl. I hope she's okay. Oh, that wasn't the little girl. The little girl that we're looking for is still missing. I thought we just found her and she was just on a caffeine trip and, you know, like she just went back home after her trip ended. Don't even know if that's a thing. A caffeine trip. Is that really a thing? I feel like I'm on a trip right now. I'm tripping out because of all this fog going on and we should go on a trip on one of these boats, but don't think these dudes want to give us a lift or anything. Whoa, okay, here's the lighthouse. So I'm not sure if the lighthouse is where the little girl is or the library because that old lady said library and then that other person said lighthouse. So not sure which one of the two, but let's see if we can find out some more things from these uh, townspeople here. Her family lives in the next house over. Maybe they have information. And to think that today would have been such a good day for a Pokemon trade. Wait, so because of this little girl going missing, you no longer want to trade with us? What kind of business person are- Oh, I- I'm sorry, I can't talk right now. I think those are supposed to be, um, hyphens? Or no, not hyphens. What are those called? Not parentheses, it's just the one. I don't know what those are called. Sniff. Hyphens are just the dash, right? Yeah, so I don't know what those are called, though. Um, but they're supposed to be like the parentheses, but just the one instead of the two. You know what I'm trying to say? I don't know, man. I'm not good at grammar and writing. Anyway, our daughter is missing. I blame myself. I spend too much time over by the lighthouse I own. I wish I knew how I could help the investigation. Well, maybe you should go over to the lighthouse. You think that would be a good idea? No. I mean, you kind of own it and it's your daughter that's missing, but nope. We've got to go to the rescue instead, so before we do head on in here, guys, let's check out the fan art spotlight. Um, but the fan art spotlight today is all over the place because people have been sending me fan art of all sorts of different Pokemon from this game. I guess it's just uh, personal favorites, um, as in the comments as well, I've been reading them about which team members I should use, and there's at least one comment for every Pokemon in this game so far, which I think is a pretty awesome thing that... Uh, people seem to like all of the Pokemon in this game. Just obviously everybody's gonna have a favorite, uh, but I honestly, if I had to choose myself, like which of these Fakemon is my favorite so far, I couldn't even say. I really do like all of them, but thank you again as always for all of the awesome fan art. Now, without further ado, let's uh, not head in the lighthouse and instead check out this pile of grass right in front of it. I have finally gone ahead and bought some items, so I've got some Pokeballs ready to go. I have got some uh, potions ready to go as we head on into this place. And actually, I really do want to start training up Avinch as well. Oh, that's not very effective. What type is this Pokemon? Hmm. It is Zuzumi, the Zoom 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 Pokemon. Wasn't that a car commercial thing? Zoom Zoom Zoom. Oh, it's an electric type. See, I didn't think that there were very many electric types in this game, but it seems I have been proven wrong already because Zuzumi here is an electric type. So we're going to go ahead and catch it. 
Our party's full right now, but, you know, later on we could go into the PC and actually swap them out for one of our other Pokemon, perhaps. I'm not sure which one. We are totally gonna die here, aren't we? Jeez, I really was kind of banking on that Pokemon or Pokeball catching you. And even with the paralysis, we're still faster than Zuzumi here. Zuzumi or Zuzumi? Hmm. I guess that's kind of the same thing, just different intonation. But um, a lot of people also helped me out with pronunciations in the comments of the last episode because I was asking how you pronounce all of these Pokemon's names, and Sedic seems to stick with just Sedic. Uh, but I was also thinking about uh, Fugruff, which is more like Fuegruff because. Fuego? I don't know how I didn't think of that one, considering I always name my Charmander Fuego, but anyway, we're focusing on Zuzumi for now. It can run up to speeds of 30 miles per hour, but they prefer to hop about because they got very powerful legs. So there it is, a little electric Pokemon, the Duracell Mouse, who is also apparently a car commercial. It's batteries and cars, all of them combined, all of the above. Oh my gosh, Albaloo, I swear. This Pokemon here, Albaloo, is the bane of my existence. I was trying to train up Sedic and Avinch off screen a little bit. You may notice uh, slightly different levels actually. When we get out to Sedic, you'll see it a little bit more obviously. Um, but he's I believe at level 12 and Sedic evolves at 13. A couple of people also told me about that one. You know what? It doesn't seem like there's anything else and I really don't want to bother with Albaloo because uh, it is just so annoying. Wait, what the heck? The door is locked? Are you serious? The door is not even... Uh, okay, well, guess we're not checking out the lighthouse just yet, guys, but hey, at least we caught a new Pokemon there. Let's go to the library is locked, too. Are you are you serious? Are you actually... They're not kidding. Both of them are locked, so what do we do? I'm sorry, we don't let anyone leaving Abne or we don't want anyone leaving just yet, at least not until the mystery is solved. So what the heck are we to do? No one seems to have the key. I'm pretty sure we checked out every single building, so... Maybe we head back to the previous route. I know that there's some stuff down here that we didn't quite explore yet. Alright, we're good to go now, and I did want to show off real quick because I explored a little bit of an area that we didn't check out in the last episode and picked up a super repel. Uh, so we're going to spray that because this route is full of Albaloos, and they are super annoying, and I just don't want to deal with them. So we're going to super repel it up, and there's actually a trainer that we kind of skipped over in the last episode right over this way. Ooh, Avenge versus Avenge. I'm a pretty big fan of that. Uh, we should actually, if we throw in Suzumi into this team, it's already level 10, so we would be about the same level as these trainers, and being the only electric type that I've seen in this game so far wouldn't be too bad, though I think that Avenge might evolve into an electric and flying type. I haven't looked it up, but it just looks like it might, because it's like a yellow bird, and I don't know. The only reason I think that is because it's a yellow bird, so maybe I am just completely making this up right now. Um, but this girl's got two Avenches. To Avinci, Avinci, Avinci is saying, hey brother, or hey sister in this case, because it's, uh, it's a girl Avinci here. Hey sister, do you know that I've got some Gus for you, mister? Because I do, and now you're dead, so yeah. Uh, but we're, we'll use Sedic in the next battle, or at least try to, because Sedic is now one level off of evolving. But what I wanted to show off was down here, there was an item. It wasn't a hidden item or anything, just a regular old item, and it was a super repel, which I've actually just sprayed, so... Went ahead and picked that up while I was training, just because I guess I kind of forgot that I was training and I just picked it up, but uh, over this way, we've actually got a completely other area to this route that we haven't explored yet, so if the key isn't down here, I actually have no idea where it could be because we kind of talked to everybody in that previous town. Oh, Hiker Xavier, what is going on, dude? Uh, I think we fought a hiker before, but I didn't really pay attention to what he looked like because that hiker sprite was a little bit weird. I didn't notice it was actually a custom hiker sprite. I thought it was just the regular one. Um, we've got a Mostan of our own actually, but don't think we're going to be using him here. We're going to go for Volpant and make quick work of this Mostan or Mostone. See, that's the one that I still don't know. Mostan is probably the right way because there's no E at the end of this um, to make it be Mostone, but... Mustone just sounds smoother, you know, it rolls off the tongue a little bit easier, kind of like, uh, what was the other Pokemon? There was one more that I couldn't figure out the evol- or the pronunciation of, and now I can't even think of it off my head. Oh, op Opabi, Opabi the opossum baby, the baby opossum thing. By the way, what I was thinking of was rodents. I couldn't think of that word last episode, but now I know, thanks to the awesomeness of YouTube comments that, uh, a lot of rodent Pokemon in this game. Actually, Zuzumi is another one of them. So, four rodent Pokemon in all uh, in this game so far. Even though there's been, like, I don't even know, not that many total Pokemon 
out of all of those, four of them have been rodent kind of Pokemon, so I, I just thought that was kind of cool, like, not, I don't know if cool or like more just like curious or peculiar, you know, like, worthy of pointing out that there's a lot of rodent Pokemon in this game, so maybe someone out there making uh, Ethereal Gates is a big fan of rodents or just likes designing rodent Pokemon, I don't know, maybe, 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 but now we're down at the beach and we're gonna have a good old time smashing rocks away. Probably shouldn't have smashed this one, we should have smashed the other one because it looks like it might lead to a hidden item, but um, this one's gonna have a moss on at least for us to train off of. Ooh, if we do take this one down, we'll probably get a level up on um, Avenge, so, oh, why did I go for my own Moston? Ah, I'm a dummy. That is not the Pokemon I meant to go for there. You know what? I'm just gonna run away now, because this is gonna take a while to take down, especially because, okay, so look at this. Ooh, that damage from Tackle, right? And guess what attack we've got? Tackle. Yeah, this battle would probably last for a while. Both of them have taken odds their heads. That just looks so funny to me. I know it's probably not that big of a deal. It's just a Moston taking off his head, but I don't know, it looks so funny to me. There wasn't even a hidden item there, man. What a, what a waste. What a waste of a good rock, man. We could have left that rock all good. Oh, Tuber Stella's got a pretty crazy face going on there too. That, I don't, I don't know why, but the hiker and this Tuber both have like weird faces. Like it's not that they look bad, they just look like off. Like it looks like an adult's face on a little baby trainer or not really a baby, but I guess kind of like a child or a kid. Are these guys babies, or I guess they're just kids, they're not really babies. Then again, uh, when you start off your Pokemon adventure, you're only 10 years old and somehow you're already trusted with all of these crazy things as Avinch is actually taken down there. Uh, but you know what, this actually brings the perfect opportunity for Sedic to come in and get some nice experience. Oh yeah, here's another one of them, Squeaker, one of the rodent Pokemon. So there's Squeaker, Opabi, um, Zuzumi. And there's one more that I can't even think of right now, but I know that there's at least one more rodent Pokemon out there in this game. Um, and maybe you could even count the fairy one that we encountered in the last episode. Wow. That echoed voice did a lot of damage there, but we're good. Sedic managed to survive and get a ton of experience there from Stella. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Wonder if that's what she was going for. I mean, you know, kids like Frozen, right? Kids like Frozen and Minions. That's... That's what I've learned that kids love nowadays. Apparently minions are like all the rage and I don't really get the whole minion craze. I just really, maybe I haven't watched the movie so I don't get it, but seriously, I went to Walmart and the amount of like minion related like products that you could buy there was ridiculous. There's like minion cereal, there's cups, there's like, there was like something really, really stupid uh, that I wouldn't think, you know, they'd make a minions out of that because it's like an adult thing. It's not like something for kids. So. I don't know, the point is, minions are crazy and apparently everybody loves them and I just don't get them, but, uh, hey, I sh probably should have seen this one coming, huh? It was too obvious that that was not going to be a regular item, it's actually Barkush, which we caught in the last episode, so we don't really have to worry as much about anymore. Um, wow, Volpant is already at level 18, that's pretty crazy, um, but I've just realized this is, again, a dead end, so where the heck is this lighthouse key? that we're supposed to be looking for. It doesn't look like there's anything down that way. The beach is just completely empty from here on out. So I guess we will head back to the city and look around a little bit more. The owner of the lighthouse himself, the dad here, doesn't even know how to open his own lighthouse. Come on, dude. She always loves going to the top of my lighthouse and looking out. Uh, I've locked it for now, but you think it'll help? Oh, I just had to talk to him twice. Okay, that's... That's literally all I had to do. Now we know. I guess maybe we had to find out that it was locked in order for him to give us the key. The point is, we've got it now. So there we go. We will open the doors and head on inside. And hopefully I can remember which one the item that is bugged out and glitches your game is. Because if I don't, then probably won't be a good time. Whoa, how do we even get through here? Oh, we can rock smash away boxes. That's actually what I was thinking we were going to have to do, but... I wasn't sure about it. Whoa, there's actually Pokemon in here too. It's Squeaker. Whoa. Wowzer, Mickey Mouse Clubhouse all up in this lighthouse. I thought I rhymed for a second, but I realized that it was just house and house, so. I don't know. I'm not exactly the best at rhyming out here. I'm not the best at rhyming in general. I just have a really tough time coming up with words to rhyme with, which is kind of weird because I think my dad actually used to write poetry, but. I was never very good at it at all, like I remember I tried writing raps for a little bit and it was 
pretty awful. Um, don't think they'll ever see the light of day, so at least that's good. But we got another new Pokemon. Squeaker, anything plugged in can be played through its ears. Wait, is that seriously an aux cord for a tail? Wow, that's the next, that is the next generation, man. Instead of saying, yo, pass the aux cord, they're gonna say, pass the squeaker, and then you plug in your phone and you can hear music out of it. And they're gonna play the new Justin Bieber song out in theaters today. All right, so it looks like we have another uh, ladder over here, which I didn't even notice, um, but I guess we do have one. Oh my gosh, another, are you serious? Do we just have to keep going? Wait, what? Oh, okay, so when we break the box, it actually puts planks down on the floor below. Now it's making a little bit more sense. Unfortunately, I don't have any repels right now, so we're gonna probably be running into quite a few of these wild Zuzumis and maybe a little bit of squeakers here and there. Uh, so what we're gonna do is break these two boxes because, oh, never mind. This one just has a Pokemon in it. It's a Zuzumi hiding in a box. Jack in the, not Jack in the box, the cat in the, wait. It's the cat in the hat, not in a box. So what am I trying to say right now? There's a rat in a box, okay? That's what I'm trying to say. So let's smash this one and see that there is also nothing here. So, hmm. I'm kind of scared that it's this item. So I'm gonna save the game and just make sure that if it does, you know, we've uh, we've saved the game. And nope, it's not that one. It was just Thunder Wave. Yep, we're good. We are saved. I didn't think it was that one, but I know it is. I think it's a blue item ball. Oh, wait. I just realized too. So... The blue item balls in this game are TM, so there we go. We figured out the mystery of a lifetime, which wasn't really that huge of a mystery. Whoa, what is this Pokemon here? Magnot, probably a Steel type, so we're not going to be able to do very much damage to it. Um, but I sure as heck want to catch it. Look at that little robot, dude. He looks awesome. All right, so we're going to weak, uh, weaken it down. Uh, with our gust, I guess we have really nothing better unless I switched out and then if I did switch out We probably kill it with anything else that we've got so we'll just keep on trying with these uh, Gust here hmm a gust might just kill it though. So I'll go I'll go quick attack. Just keep it on the safe side. There we go Put your hands up in the air like you don't just don't care dude He totally looks like the raise your dongers face All right, we'll go great ball for you because you seem like you'd have a pretty low catch rate here Magnot I could be totally wrong about that because I don't know, really know anything about this game because it kind of just came out and it is a fan game. So a little bit hard to know everything about it because it just is like very, very new still. Sometimes it accidentally wipes hard drives with its magnetic hands. Oh, well, that's not really something I would worry or I would think I'd have to worry about. You just catch a Pokemon and now you're worried about your hard drive getting wiped. That's, yeah, not really something I would think about every day, huh? Ooh, what if it is that item there? See, the thing is, I don't actually know which item it is, so I'm very scared. So I'm just gonna save before everyone... Ah, we found it. Isn't it a good thing that we saved the game? So make sure not to grab that Pokeball if you're playing along. And thank you guys that told me in the comments um, that it actually there is, you know, that broken Pokeball right now because I probably would have messed up otherwise. Oh, wait, there's a hole here that we need to cover up. So we're gonna need to smash... There's not a box there, though, so... I'm not sure how we would smash that. I guess we go through this ladder. I don't think we've been through that lower one there, so... Come on, Squeaker, get out of the way so I can get to my destination, which is actually just, um, you know, getting through the rest of this lighthouse. All right, down here, I don't think we... Never mind, we've actually been down here, so what... What haven't we been through then? Oh, there's another... Uh, wooden planks that we actually dropped into a different hole. So I guess we go up this ladder now No, this is the wrong ladder still. Oh my gosh. There's too many ladders too little time. There we go Man, that was a lot harder to figure out than it probably should have been But now we've made it to the top of the lighthouse and oh my goodness. What is that? Is that actually the little girl's bear? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's a Pokemon doll. Maybe it belongs to the lost little girl So we're not gonna pick it up or anything. We're just gonna that's it that's it. That's all we do at this lighthouse. Well, we picked up the library key at the very tippy top. Not sure why someone dropped their keys at the top of a lighthouse, but it makes sense for progressing the story. So let's go. Now that we've got the library key, we can go check that place out. And that 
is probably where the little girl's gonna be. So I thought we've been going on for a lot longer than we actually have been. I think time might be a little bit distorted in this super foggy town. So we're actually gonna go check out the library in this very episode. And now we'll make our way over to the library. And I just have a hunch that this little girl is gonna end up being here. Maybe, maybe you should call me Scooby-Doo because where are you, little girl? I'm gonna open up this library. And also that sounds kind of creepy, so... Probably never gonna hear those words, or I'm never gonna say those words again. Whoa! This place has got a really cool intro, just like the forest did, and... Already we have a very creepy person welcoming us here. Hello there. It's been quite a while since I've had anyone see in this library. Then again, it's been a while since this library has had any books in circulation. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Marana. I'm a mythology... Enthusiast! I had heard Ocalyptus Town's library had the best books on mythology in the region, so I had to come check it out. Though I certainly was surprised at how abandoned this place was. Why are you here anyway? Uh, to bust some ghosts, duh. And my ghost radar is going off the charts right now staring at you ladies, so... Here to rescue someone, I did hear something coming from the basement earlier. I have no idea where the entrance to it is though. Wow, could it be behind that bookcase? Wonder why they're showing it to us, huh? Maybe if that chandelier was brighter, you could find the entrance. Or maybe not. I am just... I guess I have Scooby-Doo on the brain, because that's what they do in Scooby-Doo. They push aside staircases or bookshelves and uh, secret compartments open up to basements and I don't know. But I guess that's not what we're doing here. We've got to light up the chandelier a little bit more. Maybe if we had Sia, we might have a better chance at this. Apparently this book talks about Avatar. We got Earth. Fire, water, and air. The power of it is so strong that not even the mortal coil of death can stop it. What is it that it is talking about? Maybe it's this Pokemon! Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys! I'm so scared right now! I am literally quivering in my boots. I just jumped out of my chair because it's Caspook! Look at it! <laughs> That's a really cool name, too, Caspook. Because uh, Casper, the friendly ghost, he's the friendliest ghost around. I've just noticed that we don't actually gain experience from catching Pokemon in this game, so... I feel like if I'd actually been catching, or, you know, actually taking down most of the Pokemon that I've caught in this playthrough, we would have had a lot more experience. Oh no, Caspook! Man, I wanted to catch myself a little ghosty friend. Oh wow, and you're also gonna lower my gust by four? Come on, Caspook. Well, kinda sucks for you, just cause I didn't really want to take you out, you know? I just wanted to... Say hello to the friendly ghost. Only it has the power to bring back those past, and only through the guardians can it be summoned. I should really go buy some repels now, though, because I have a feeling that we're mostly going to find Caspook in here. Uh, maybe there's something else, though. And honestly, I'm just very, very scared of Caspook, so I don't want to end up running into any more of them, because I feel like I might actually get a heart attack if I run into another one of those. It was really scary, guys. You don't even know. We don't have any repels, though. Kind of a bummer. Oh, well, I guess we'll just have to... Oh. Did you just hear that whisper? What the heck was that, dude? Co don't scare me like that. This, uh, When the common people had heard of the resurrection power, wars broke out. Okay. Don't think these books are actually relevant to what we're trying to... Whoa, wait. Wait a second. This is very relevant. The fabled sites where the pieces of the ancient relic are hidden have become known as ethereal gates. And this one seems warped. What does it mean by warped? Like all the... Letters are jumbled around or like the page itself is actually somehow shifted in I don't I don't know what that means actually, but all right Here's another super spooky cast pook, which we can't catch because that was my last pokeball Legend also tells of four fearsome beasts who guarded each part of the relic these beasts wield power beyond any known Pokemon Wow, so we're actually finally learning a little bit about the story of this game because I've actually always been very curious as to what Ethereal Gates even means. Like, why is the game named Ethereal Gates? And this is a, our first little... Oh, those whispers, man! The runes of the monks foretell of the destruction. There's runes are hidden in caverns where the air is thin. Is the air thin here? That's why, is that why all this fog is around here? I don't know, dude. But yeah, this is the first time we're ever hearing of the Ethereal Gates themselves, which is what the name is obviously... The game is named after, not the name is gamed after. That's what I was about to say, but... Thank goodness I corrected myself, because another spooky cast pook was about to spook us uh, out of this mansion or library. It's not a mansion. It is not a haunted mansion. Eddie Murphy's nowhere to be seen. Oh my gosh. Uh-huh. Yep. 
Hide the bulbs. Keep visitors away from the monster in the basement. Find the bulb at the mass between two ferns. Zach Galifianakis? Um... Lore states that the beginning of the end commences when the pieces of relic are brought together. More information at Goldcrest University Library. Okay, whatever that means. The ghost just told us where to find the thing. I'm just checking all these books because I feel like there will be some hidden items somewhere in this library. But he just told us the mask between two ferns. And it doesn't mean the Zach Galifianakis show. He actually just means the mask right over here, I'm pretty sure. Uh, between the two trees, between the two ferns. Are you kidding me? Kaspook, you're awesome, but I don't have any Pokeballs. I think he means right here. Yeah, there's the ball. We put it in the chandelier to brighten the room, or we have to put it in the chandelier, which I think we do by standing right over here. Or, oh, there we go. You can reach the chandelier from here. Let's put that bulb right in. And are you, that's, that's only one of them. We have to find four of them without any repels. All right, you know what? That's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Next time, we'll come back here with some repels and hopefully at least one great ball so that we can catch Kaspook and finally put its little spirit to rest because I'm just getting a little bit annoyed at running into all these wild Pokemon. So I will see you all in the next thrilling, spooky, exciting, amazing, great. Uh, yeah, bye.